Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another session of Art in the Morning. Uh, for those that are new to my channel, I do this every uh, day of the week where I do something in my handbound watercolor journal. And it's usually an exercise with a goal in mind. Um, it's essentially just to practice stuff. Today, I thought I would look into my own sketchbook for inspiration. I did this kind of like small doodle. Actually, I should hide this part because it's from my patrons. <laughs> I have a very small doodle sketch here that I'm thinking of turning into a very quick painting. And I thought I would play with Neo Color 2s this morning. I've got these. Uh, these are the um, metallic ones. And then I have also some art bars in there. So art bars are kind of like a similar product to Neo Color 2s, but they're from Derwent. And the Neo Color 2s are Caradesh. Not sure how it's going to turn out. I'm working on the not so good side of the paper. And my favorite method for working with Neo Colors is to pick up the color from the crayon as opposed to scribbling on the page. But I might do a little bit of both in this one. And I need color because it's like, it's been raining for the past two days. And so I'm going to put bright colors. So let's start with some yellow. I have an orange yellow somewhere in here. Ah, here it is. But this is Jaune d'Or. Ooh, golden yellow. So let's let's see what this is going to give me. Uh, I should have probably changed my water. <laughs> <laughs> this one's not so bad. <laughs> well, we'll go with it. Alright, so I'm going to grab the color directly on here. Now, of course, this does not react the same way than watercolor will, but... Uh, let's see here. It's it's giving me, uh, you know, a, a not so bad payoff, in all honesty. And I'm going to grab some of that red and layer that on top. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I'm going to use that wet uh, crayon, I guess, and add more intensity to this. This is quite cool. Ooh. There's a lot of water, as you can see. I'm using a flat brush as well. Um, let's add pink to this, or fuchsia. This is purple. My brush is um, is a good quality brush, so of course it loads up with lots of liquid, um, which <clears throat> usually works in my favor. But I think with these ones, with the neo colors, might actually create a problem. So I'm gonna try and remove a little bit of liquid before I grab the color. Yeah, it's much better. Okay, all right. See, these pages are exactly for that. They're perfect for testing out material. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing for these. The first one that I did. I'm just gonna blot the excess water on my paper. On my towel, I should say. Oh, I like that. Let 
That is not the color I wanted to grab originally. I'm going to do the background first. <clears throat> if there's not enough water on your brush, the it's going to start looking waxy because these are wax crayons. They're essentially um, water soluble, but they're wax based. So if there's not a lot of water and you get a lot of pigment, the pigment is of course going to be wax. So something to keep in mind when you're working with these. Now this is the background. I'm going to go nuts here. Now the crayon is I want to say slightly wet. So the payoff is quite large as opposed to if I had used it dry. And scrub at it a little bit. When you use them directly on paper, of course, you can see the, the crayon streaks. Um, that's normal. It's like watercolor pencils, you know, if you if you use them directly on paper, you'll see a little bit of marks. I always seem to do the same formation for flowers. I wish I could think differently sometimes. Here, I'm not crazy about the color combo, but I'm going to keep on going with it. And this brush is huge. <laughs> I need to invest more in flat brushes. I've been liking using them. I'm going to try this one. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a Princeton Neptune. Okay, so this is a quarter inch flat brush. The other one I was using is half inch. So it's double the size. But let's see. Yeah. That's what I should have taken. It's okay.
working on the not so good side paper here and it's a little bit challenging. I find the colors are not as vibrant. Almost kind of boring and flat. <clears throat> center. It's going to overlap. Oops. I'm liking this brush. Feeling the vibe. <laughs> ah, it's okay. It's all right. Okay, uh, time to get some green from there for this uh, rather weird color scheme I've got here. This is grass green, I think. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna list the supplies in the description as usual. I never know how to address leaves with a flat brush. All right. Let's flick. This looks like a rainbow picture. Well, if you're into rainbow colors, um, <laughs> you are served this morning. Uh, boy, I'm gonna add some yellow to most of them. Actually, let's try to scribble. Just to make things pop a little. Mm-hmm. I like this better. My only uh, concern is that when I try to doodle there, uh, it's going to give uh, quite a workout to my marker because it's wax based. So I'm not sure about that. I'm also going to make some scribbles with the green. I don't like the shape of the leaves. I tried to go too primitive on this. Um, I 
and I don't enjoy that. I don't enjoy the look of it, not the making. I think it's fun to do, but. Oops. See, that's pure wax, I can tell. <laughs> it's so shiny. <laughs> oh, jeez. And I'm afraid it's going to rub off on my other pages. <clears throat> it probably will. So I'm going to try to set it a bit with water. Which is unfortunate because I like the look. It's kind of fun though to play like this. And not worry about the outcome. Oh, this is turning out to be kind of cute. I'm kind of liking the roughness of this. Is that a word, roughness? Probably not. <laughs> and I don't want to overdo it. I'm going to use the microperm in the O3 tip to doodle because they write on any surface and I can feel the wax in some areas and I know that if I use a fine tip pen or one of my regular pens that I use all the time, um, it's not going to be enjoyable. <laughs> so yeah, the marker keeps clogging up and so that's not ideal. I guess if you want to doodle um, over Neo Color 2s, you kind of have to be super light with the application. Um, here, I'm going to have to grab a paper to the side. I just keep scribbling on it because the, the wax builds up, clogs up the marker. too bad. I mean it's it's not a big deal if if you're using the neo colors in a different way. Um, but I like to doodle. I don't like to be limited in the um, byproduct. Like I said, if I want to doodle, then I want to have the ability to doodle and not having to worry about build up or you know my marker not working well because of a certain type of supply that I use so there's that I'm kind of liking that though I like the look of it <clears throat> I'm going to keep on going just because, you know, it's fun. It's still fun to figure things out. And I know I keep repeating myself, but that is exactly the purpose of these morning practices. Um, it's trying to figure out everything. Material, techniques.
refining what you know. Sorry, my laundry machine just finished. <laughs> Multitasking, yes. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep the doodling very loose. I find sometimes when I doodle, I find that leaving some things to the imagination can be interesting in a piece. So that's why I'm saying like the doodling might not be um, to completely define, define um, you know, the flowers or the leaves, but just give a hint of what it could be. Find it's fun to do that. <clears throat> I'm probably hiding up quite a bit, so I'm sorry. I have to hold the pen perpendicular to the page uh, just because it's really not working well <laughs> on this. I know I have more flowers than stems. I don't necessarily want to show everything. starting to like it um you know the um, I'm gonna do some dots because <laughs> you know I can't do anything without dots or circles or stuff like that um I'm kind of starting to like the design of it the colors I'm still iffy about it I find there's quite a lot of color but there's a cool background which sort of helps um, yeah, maybe adding some whites will help it a little bit, I think. The essence of white bothers me. All right, for the bottom, uh, I'm going to do scribbled leaves and stuff. Um, I don't even know how to call them. I was going to do my cute little... As you can see, I didn't stick to my original plans. I don't know if you've noticed that yet. <laughs> I'm going to show you the sketch again from the sketch I showed you at the beginning. Just to prove my point that I can't even stick to my own reference material. <laughs> Which is pretty sad. <laughs> wow. Just trying to add some movement at the bottom here to these fake grasses slash shrubs. I don't know. I guess they're, it's grass. <laughs> Let's call it grass. 
guys. I'm feeling poorly again today. I'm so tired of this. Some mornings I'm fine. And some mornings I'm not. Which I'm quite puzzled. But So right now I feel so dizzy. <laughs> it could be the colors. <laughs> it could be the, uh, the... What's it called? The rainbow colors that are keeping me... Or, or getting me dizzy. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Hmm. I was fine before breakfast, and as soon as I had breakfast, I started feeling bad. So, I don't know, guys. I don't know. But do not fret for me. I know that whenever I speak about my health, you guys are concerned. You shouldn't be. I'm just trying to explain why some things, you know, some days it's harder, um, and it 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 reflects on my artwork, of course, because you know, your health is kind of like the driver of everything <laughs> I'm kind of liking it now it's so weird I did not enjoy the beginning of this experience but I'm kind of liking it okay I need to add white uh, this is the art bar what side of this background is lighter I guess this side so let's see if I I add little bit here and there um, that's going to transfer onto the other page so let's try to dissolve it let's see if it's going to oh ooh, I like that okay hold on <clears throat> okay, I'll show you in a bit let me just add some more of this. Uh, this white, whoops, I just broke it. Oh, well. let's use the tiny bit. Um, it's a little bit dirty, but. It makes it um, a little bit muddy, but it's kind of cool. And what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to use that bit to flick some drops. Oh, but I'm liking this. Oh. Rinse your brush. <laughs> I just added purple instead of white on here. Gives it a nice highlight. I'm, I'm very pleased with that. Oops. Alright, let's add and then let's blend. I'm going to highlight this one here quite a bit because it's the the main flower. Okay. <clears throat> it adds a soft white, which is quite cool. By the way, uh, thank you for your response on my recent, my two recent videos, the landscape and then the seascape. I was very surprised to see that some of you are tired of flowers. Well, not, I mean, you didn't say it in those words, but you guys like to see something different once in a while, and that's cool. But I, I will always go back to flowers because I, I do love making flowers okay that is kind of cool you know let's with this and see if oh yeah baby I needed to flick <laughs> plain and simple I just needed to flick so I hope you're catching this I essentially I wet my brush <clears throat> And then I'm just flicking and so the color drops in tiny little white dots. I'm going to dry all of that.
Yeah, some of the white dots, they disappear into the background when they're drying. I had a feeling this would happen. Yeah, some of the dots have disappeared. I mean, you can still see some of it. Okay, let's add. This is, of course, the, uh, the Uniball Signo Gel Pen. I hope this is going to work on the Neo Colors. It's not always reliable, this pen. So let's see. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> so far, so good. Yep, yep, yeah. I like the shape of these flowers too. I seem to be doing that quite often these days. <laughs> My white is now pink. <laughs> So, this is it. I like it. Do you? <laughs> I started like a kid. Do you like me? <laughs> Give me your honest opinions. Um, you know, it's nice to get praises. Yes, I agree. But constructive criticism is always welcome. Um, I'm just darkening those dots, some of them anyways, just so that they give more importance to the flower. Sometimes adding uh, elements next to it, <laughs> uh, no, adding something to an element is what I meant to say, uh, can emphasize that element, making it darker. A little bit bigger without dwarfing it. Mm hmm. Yep. I like 
bag after all. <laughs> I really was not sure halfway through, guys. Uh, honestly, I was going to quit and do something else. But, uh, you know, perseverance, like I always say, sometimes pays off. Not all the time, but... Oh, wait. <laughs> Just thought of something else. I want to add pops of white here and there. I've never finished. <laughs> and then just dilute this to seal it. I'm probably going to have to spray this for sure um, with Kamar varnish, which I have. But I'm kind of liking these white big bold white emphasis yes I love creating patchy backgrounds like this I find I find it's quite interesting it's not so rigid um, it helps having a uh, loose feel I wish I had uh, there's a big clump right here. I wish I'd kept some more of the original white like I have here underneath this flower. I really like this. Next time, see? You learn all the time. <laughs> that painting was almost like a thriller for me. I did not anticipate the ending um, in the sense that I'm quite happy with it. The only thing that I'm not crazy about is the colors of the flowers. It reminds me of circus flowers. I'm not huge on... I, clowns freak me out and that's probably why I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh, it gives me the feels of clowns. The clown scares the bejesus out of me. So, <laughs> sorry I'm weird. But, um, but I like the... I kind of like it because the background is cool in, in tones. In tone. So... Had I had I made like a warm background, I think it would have bothered me more. Um, I love the shape of these flowers. I like, I really, really enjoy working with flat brushes, honestly. Um, so that's a big discovery that uh, happened while working in this book. I love the addition of that little bit here at the corner. I know it sounds silly, but just that little one there makes me so happy. Um, and I like the movement that I that I put uh, in the grass, herbs, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what they are. They just flicks. But I, I, I like it. I find that picture has a lot of movement and that pleases me. It's not so static. It's not like... I mean, this was fun because I wanted to experiment with texture, you know, staying within the confines of a shape. But that doesn't make me sing as much as this, even if I don't enjoy the color scheme of the flowers. Because I find it's, I don't know, it's more alive, it's less static. It's not so boring and I just... Some parts are... Oh, I dropped some water somewhere. Okay, that's alright. But uh, yeah, no, it just makes me happy. and. Experimenting with my supplies also is something that makes me happy because I have quite a bit. Um, it doesn't mean that you have to go out and buy new color twos or art bars. I'm just doing it for myself. And also I know that some of you out there have what I have in my stash. I'm not the only one. I, I refuse to believe I'm the only one that has a ton of stuff that's been accumulating. For years and years and years but I've had my neo colors since oh gosh I can't remember um, I also have the Stampin Up ones which I'm giving away but Stampin Up had a version of neo colors the colors were not as bright and bold but um, it, they kind of react the same way they're watercolor wax crayons uh, water soluble wax based crayons so that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you feel inspired to create something like this, 
you can always do so as long as it's for your personal use and that you mention where you got the inspiration from. I'm at Création CC on Facebook and Instagram. I would love to see uh, your artwork. That always pleases me. I want to say a big thank you to my awesome patrons who are supporting my art over at Patreon. Oh, I forgot. The supplies will be listed below, as usual. Because <laughs> I, I get a lot of questions about supplies, so they're always below the video. Alright, I gotta go. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!